Right, here we go. A bluffer's guide to embarrassing yourself online. surplus to requirements, cardboard, it's always nice to see cardboard packages, machine, plug, cardboard packaging, those will make excellent seed trays, and that is perfect timing because they have some more seeds to plant, bag, there's always going to be some plastic, right, now, the one thing that is missing is an instruction manual, which could be interesting. Let's just check the box. Okay. <laughs> Illusion of competence shattered. And Viano capture for you. Blah 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 blah. Risk of electric shock. Apparently, there's a risk of electric shock with electrical equipment. Uh, risk of damage, product description, blah, blah, blah. Basic cleaning. The product must be cleaned before first use and after blah, blah, blah. Remove the packing, packaging material and all protective foils. Protective foils. Any protective foils? Um, I can't see anything in there. I can't see anything in there. Give that a quick rinse. sound of a man rinsing from the other side of the kitchen, which is not very entertaining. Right, so hole in the bottom, so I'm guessing the water goes down. Right? Plug. It's not the longest lead in the world, but then if it's going on your kitchen counter, it probably doesn't need to be. Uh, remove foils, uh, concert the main foils, uh, remove the packaging materials and all protective foils. I am looking for protective anything and I am not seeing protective anything. Which does not mean there isn't protective anything, but we will find out. Won't we? Blinky dink mug. Press one of the two buttons, press one. We are plugged in. The small coffee button briefly illuminate. Do they? Let's just check that they. Oh, hang on. Are we switched on? We are not switched on. That will probably help. There we go. Flashing lights. This is what we want. Right. Uh, Press one of the two buttons to switch the product on. Both buttons flash slowly. They do. If there is still a capsule in the capsule, no. Pull the lever. If there is still a capsule in the capsule, to pull the lever, there isn't. So open the lid three and fill the water tank. That's that feels a bit rickety to me. It feels like it ought to clip in. It does, it clips in. There is a clip there. There we go. Bumbling amateur productions continue. Okay, so why are you dripping already? Open the lid three and the water tank halfway with oh, open the lid three. Fill the water tank halfway with cold tap water and close the lid again. Oh well. Place a suitable container under the coffee spout. I think this is maybe where I'm going wrong. So does that tuck in there? Well, 
least a big mug will go under there. No, or will it? I think I might. It would be nice to be able to get rid of that bit altogether and put a big mug under there. Doesn't quite, doesn't quite manage it. That's a bit wobbly. But anyway, it'll do for now. Uh, press the large coffee button, and the coffee pot pours out hot water. Maybe. Open the lid three. Uh, place a suitable table for a pretend. Mm -hmm. Press the large coffee button. The coffee spout pours out hot water. I'm not sure it does. Oh, there we go. So that's quite a long press. And then a slow drip. Potentially not quite what he mind. Open the three, from down, place it in the jar, I'm about ten, press the large coffee button. Maybe I have to hold it down. There we go, maybe I just have to keep pressing it. This appears to be the secret. Press and hold. Yeah, maybe just have to keep doing it. That's definitely hot. Approved method for testing. I'm not sure about this holding the button down thing. I imagine it's only for cleaning and not for if there's a pod in there, hopefully it will do it automatically. I'm sure this is really thrilling. It will be in his right neck out, so man pouring away hot water which goes against the grain plenty of water left it would help if the instructions said press and hold then I would feel that this is working as it should do. So, uh, programming the coffee quantity, the quantity of coffee is for Is this helpful? I'm sure you, this is very helpful for you on the video. Carry out the following steps if you wish to program how much coffee should be poured for a small cup. Yeah, well, I don't think we'd be bothering that. How about we just, how about we just put some pods in and have a have a go. Let's go for a seven. Seven. I'm not, I'm not convinced by this drip. The drip implies that something is not right to me, but what would I know? It 
empty the cap how about filling the capsule drawer there's a bright go preparing preparing coffee open the lid three fill the air yeah we've done that we've done that bit um pull the lever two da, da, da. insert a coffee ca coffee capsule into the capsule holder one and press the lever down an illustration of which way round it goes for complete numpties like me oh hang on hang on there's a slot that only fits one way being crumbs right okay insert a coffee capsule have done switch the product on it's on place a cup under the coffee what's it teeny tiny cup press one of the two but what about moving the handle Pull the lever two up, insert goes out, and press the lever down. Why? Why? I'm not sure about that. Doesn't, oh, it, I'm not sure. That. Well, uh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Nothing. Right. So. So. Drop it in. Press it down. There we go. That's it. It just doesn't look very confidence inspiring. So, firm press down, uh, press one of the two buttons, burst the, uh, the pressed button flashes, the product stops automatically when the program coffee quantity has been reached. Let's go small, because I can always add a bit more, and I don't know how big this cup is, because it normally only gets used for catching drips. This is exciting. You know, I'm secretly a bit of an instant man, and the, I could have had about 14 mugs of coffee by now. It does smell lovely, though. It smells absolutely gorgeous. Is that it? <laughs> we're, having another, we're having another one of those. That's <laughs> Look at that's not copper coffee. <laughs> that, that looks like it should come out a bit more. Let's press that one again. Let's go. I'm going big. Go big or go home. <laughs> this is my normal mug. <laughs> This is the um, the most informative YouTube video of all time, but it does show the world as it is, especially if you're a bit of an idiot. And I make no claims to be anything other than a bit of an idiot. Teeny tiny, teeny tiny. So that's. It reckons that the big one is about 75 mil and small one is 25 mil. 75 mil is about one and a half mouthfuls. It may be that I'm a filter coffee kind of guy. Oh, here we go. It's getting a bit full now. Have I bitten off more than I can chew? Have I made a tactical error? It looks like the big one would have been about right. <laughs> that mug is definitely not right so a big one would have been possibly a bit much if this was just a little bit deeper and that if that would just push out of the way altogether you could get a proper mug in there and that would be better it's just sitting in the lip there that's not too bad right so a big one would probably have filled that cup perfectly. No room for milk, but 
Yeah, that definitely tastes like coffee. Cheers. There's still quite a lot of dripping going on. Not a big fan of dripping, but then what would I know? Okie dokie. Hope that was useful. <laughs>